righty. I have a construction update for you guys today, and things are so interesting about this project, 2025 and Moosehorn. Everything about it is so confusing, um, but don't worry. I've been able to make some sense of things. I'm going to discuss some of it. Um, I'm going to save some of the juicier things just for Patreon. Obviously, I owe my Patreons um, some really... Uh, good information and tea. There's 150 of you, so I owe you guys a lot. It's been pretty dry the last couple months with no construction. So I'm going to give you guys the tea in this monthly um, newsletter. Um, but today, as you can see, I want you guys to pay attention to what's happening here. Um, so if you look closely, a lot of this storage lot is Halloween Haunt, um, the launchers for fireworks under those tarps. Um, as you can see there, the rest of it is construction crew. So what you have being stored in this area is the caisson company's um, equipment, um, caissons themselves, uh, the little tarp tents that dry the caissons if it's a little damp or wet of an environment. Um, so that's kind of become theirs. Um, a little later, you'll see why I'm discussing that. Um, here, sorry, I'm recovering from whatever I had, but I have a really, like, my lungs are pretty damaged from whatever I had, so I find it really difficult to talk for long periods of time, so if you hear me struggling to, <laughs> to breathe, that's why. Um, whatever I had destroyed me, by the way, um, so I'm just recovering. As you see here on the screen in front of you, um, they are so far behind. This is so unlike Wonderland, by the way. <coughs> <clears throat> anyone who knows Wonderland knows that they would typically never do something like this, but they're so far behind, they have no choice. So this is the um, company that obviously set up the crane that built what I want to explain to you guys, okay? And this is the stuff I'm going to explain to you guys. I'm going to hold the real tea um, for Patreon. But Wonderland's built essentially a powerhouse and a pump house. And if you look at its capacity, this this building, um, especially its pump house, it is such a large, um, I, I don't know the word, I'll use project. It is such a large project for a theme park. It is such large size that it is capable of powering um, both water and electricity for a subdivision. Um, so I want you to keep in mind because that isn't necessary yet um the pump houses they had were capable of providing water to the the water park um they at most maybe needed a small one but they've added a, a massive addition to their power and their water supply um and obviously we're waiting for that to come online and what i'm not going to reveal is i want you guys to pay attention to backlot stunt coaster when you're at the park okay it is going to be operating um, that way, however you see it, for a lot of the summer. Um, but I just want you to pay attention um, to Backlot. Um, there's a reason for that. Okay? And um, what they're working on currently is a big play in future projects. So both, not even just 2025, by the way. This is what I'm trying to get at. Um, what Wonderland just built is for 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, and 2029. Okay, it's a very big project that Wonderland um, just is almost completed. It, it's taken them a really long time. Um, the water slide, we'll get to that in a second. You'll see um, where it's about to connect to. But yeah, this is them just needing to finish off that power building. But if you look at Moosehorn, I want to talk about Moosehorn. So Moosehorn is done. Um, they're installing the actual conveyor belt, finishing little tiny touches like that. The plumbing is ready to go up the slide tower. It's connected. But this is that building, by the way. So anyone who knows construction or um, infrastructure, I want you to look at this building, that water reservoir and everything about it. It is insane for a theme park to have something of that scale. Okay, And I know that because it was brought to my attention um, by someone that knows what they're talking about in the industry. Um, so that building itself is of very big importance to our future expansions at Canada's Wonderland. But Moosehorn, throughout the day, they're just cleaning up, finishing up. They start cleaning up their construction site. Um, it's now landscaping and connecting the plumbing and the electrical to that new building. 
<clears throat> I'm so sorry for coughing into the mic. Um, but here, um, we have them digging and removing some trees just in behind the storage area that I was talking about earlier. Now, this isn't for any reason. This isn't a construction company coming in and they're about to build something back here. This is, in my opinion, from what I have heard, is the expansion of the storage area. Um, so from what I know, the construction company currently working on projects at Canada's Wonderland uh, is going to be here for quite some time. Um, and they're going to need some more storage. And then Wonderland on top of that is going to need some more storage. So the storage lot is going to work its way back over there from what I gather. Um, but yeah, we'll talk about more of that on Patreon. Um, over here, the company that was in charge of assembling Moosehorn Falls is now packing up and leaving. And you might be asking, well, why are they doing that if they have to assemble a coaster? Well, it's a different company. So whoever assembled Moosehorn is not going to be the ones that assemble our new coaster. I think it's most likely going to be ES Fox that comes in and does the new coaster. People who specialize in steel fabrication. <coughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah. So if you look there, you could see the electrical coming down from the tower um, and then it's heading towards that new building. So that is what I was talking about. And if you see right there, that white tube coming up, that's the plumbing that also came from that new building. Um, and then you can see some more electrical there. Um, so yeah, very interesting. Um, definitely uh, a, a significant project um, for future additions at Canada's Wonderland. And if you look closely, I, this is what I wanted you to pay attention to on Backlot Stunt Coaster. It has been operating that way for about a week from what I've seen on the drone. And it's going to continue to operate that way um, until projects are done construction. But yeah, um, that's all I have, I think, for the construction um, so far. I know that there's no actual coaster construction, but don't worry. We're waiting on the Rutherford construction. And we're waiting on the other company to finish Moosehorn and that power capacitor building and pump house before they move on to the project. Um, thanks so much for watching guys, um, and for putting up with my cough through this video and have a good one. Bye.